Here's how to be more efficient on the SAT math section. Question five states that John paid a total of $165 for a microscope by making a down payment of $37 plus P monthly payments of $16 each. Which of the following equations represents the situation? And as you can see, as I read through the problem, I wrote down the equation that I would eventually come up with. So we see that our answer there has to be C. Now I wanna talk about why this is a good strategy and when to use it. What I do is when I see an SAT math question with three lines or more, then as I read through the question, I'll start writing down any coefficients, variables, or key units that I will need to solve the question. So as you saw, when I saw that I had a total of 165, I knew I was probably going to sum up something else to get to that total of 165. So I wrote down 165 first. Then as I kept reading, I saw I had a down payment of $37. A down payment is a one-time payment. So there's not going to be a variable next to it. So I went ahead and wrote down 37. Okay. And keep in mind, I'm trying to add up to a total here. So I could probably insinuate that I'm going to have a summation after that. Then we have plus P monthly payments. So plus indicating I need to add plus P.